changing your life one story at a time. This is the Chicken Soup for the Soul podcast with Editor-in-Chief Amy Newmark. Hey, it's Amy Newmark with your daily dose of Chicken Soup for the Soul inspiration. This podcast lets me share with you some of my favorite Chicken Soup for the Soul stories. I've gone through about 10,000 of our stories so far, looking for the most interesting transformational ones to share with you on this podcast. They're all about real life, and that's what makes them so fascinating. We get thousands of submissions for every book, and we can only publish 101 stories. So I do get to pick the cream of the crop. And this story is from an amazing book that we made called Chicken Soup for the Soul, Dreams and Premonitions. I find this story so fascinating. You know, truth really is stranger than fiction. And I guess that's why I have one of the best jobs in the world. At least that's how I see it. I get to edit and publish these books filled with these amazing stories. This particular story is called Technicolor Dreams, and it's by Susan Friel Williams. This story started for Susan with a dream. In her dream, she was walking into her neighborhood Albertson's grocery store when her friend and co-worker, Vicky, came out sobbing. Susan grabbed her and said, Vicky, what's wrong? And Vicky answered, Oh my God, Susan, I can't believe he's gone. I just can't believe he's gone. Susan woke up from this dream having no idea what to do. She couldn't warn Vicky that something bad was on the horizon when she had no idea who Vicky had been referring to in the dream. Plus, it was just a dream, right? But it bothered Susan, and she told some of her friends at work, and they decided to prepare just in case. They made a pact that day to be there for Vicky when and if she needed them, and they exchanged their home phone numbers. Several months passed and nothing happened. Susan's dream or premonition or whatever you want to call it had not come true. Then one night, Susan's husband came home and told her that he had a new employee he was training. She was deaf, so he needed help explaining things to her. He asked Susan if she knew anyone who had a basic sign language manual. And the first person that popped into Susan's head was Vicky, because Vicky had a daughter who was deaf. So the next morning, Susan called Vicky at home for the first time, because remember, they were work colleagues, so they didn't normally call each other at home. And Vicky picked up the phone crying. And Susan said, Vicky, what's wrong? And Vicky replied, oh, my God, Susan, I can't believe he's gone. I just can't believe he's gone. The hair stood up on the back of Susan's neck. These were the exact words in her dream several months before. Vicky went on to explain that she had given birth to a son when she was younger, and she had put him up for adoption. She had just learned that he had been killed in a car accident the night before. She couldn't afford the plane ticket to fly across the country to his funeral, and she didn't know what to do. Well, this is just what Susan and her pre-made support group were waiting for. Susan reached out to her group, and within four hours, they had collected enough money to purchase an airline ticket for Vicky to go to her son's funeral. When Vicky returned from her trip in the funeral, she called Susan to thank her, and she asked her why she had been calling her that morning. And Susan explained about her husband's new employee who was deaf and how her husband wanted a basic sign language manual so that he could train her. And guess what? That new employee was Vicky's deaf daughter. So we have a premonition and a dream. We have a coincidence at work that prompted a phone call. Weird, right? It's like I say, truth is stranger than fiction. The next time we get together, I'll wow you in a different way. With one of the most popular stories in Chicken Soup for the Soul's 23-year history. It's a story that can't help but change your perspective about your place in the world. I'm Amy Newmark. Thank you for listening to the Chicken Soup for the Soul podcast today. And I hope you'll share it with your friends and family. You can rate and review it as well on our iTunes page. And if you'd like to read more awesome, thought-provoking stories from the book I mentioned today, Chicken Soup for the Soul, Dreams and Premonitions, then please go to our website chickensoup.com.